Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this super cute silver and pink heart nail design. I absolutely love how these turned out. I think they're so adorable and they can be worn any time of the year. It's really up to you. So if you'd like to see how I came up with this look and my thought process for this design, keep on watching. So for this hard nail design, I am going to go in and use Light Elegance Sweet Cream and this is from their Buttercream line. So I will be going in and adding this color to two of the nails. So I'll be doing it on the pinky and the index finger. such a gorgeous pink and you get such good coverage in one coat too but just because I usually do two coats I will go in with a second one but very easily you could get away with one finger and the thumb I'll be going in with another light elegance gel this one is called hollow and this is from their butter bling line finger I am gonna go in and use fusion paints white 101 and I'm gonna be doing an accent on this one I'll probably do a marble design because I've been really having fun with the art inks as you can see I'm running low so I really need to get another white I'm going to go in with my Magic Gel Nail Guard Tackless Hyper Shine and I'm going to apply this to the pinky and the thumbnail because I'm just going to be leaving those two as is. Isn't this such a cute pink guys? I've actually used this um, hollow butter bling on my nails before and I love it. I just think it is so amazing. I might have to try and use it again sometime soon. I don't know when though. So I'm going to leave the nail that I'm going to do the stamping design with last. And since I'll be doing a marble design, I will also be going in and using 
Ugly Ducklings matte top coat because it does work better with a matte top coat when, when you are going in with the Opry Art Inks. I figured since I know I'll be doing a stamping design on this one, I might as well go ahead and apply the matte top coat from now as well. So since I am using my Ugly Duckling matte top coat, there is an inhibition layer. So I'll just be going in with some of my cleanser as usual and removing that before I proceed. So for this design, I will be going in and using the Opry number no. 5 art ink, and this is the pink one. So you guys saw that I kind of like fiddled around, removed a lot, added back some because again, as I always say, there is no right or wrong way when using the art inks. It's up to what you are looking for or the kind of design that you want. And I wasn't really liking how it came out, but now I really like the final result. So that's what I really like about the art inks because you can remove color, add color, and you can just keep doing it and layering it until you get what it is that you're trying to go for. So next I will be going in with my Light Elegance Extreme Gel and just applying a thin, thin layer because I'm gonna do some encapsulated glitters, guys. I feel like I haven't done an encapsulated glitter like design in a while. So this thin layer would just give something for the glitters to adhere to. So I've been dying to give these glitters a try and I figured with this design it would be the absolute perfect time. So these are the Chameleon Silver Pink Hearts from Glitter Boutique Canada. I think these were part of my like very first glitter haul, I can't remember. So they do shift from silver to pink. Right now you're seeing a lot of the pink but at different angles like right there you can see some of the silver. Hearts, which is really cool. So pouring them into this tray will make it easier for me to pick them up and apply them onto the nail. I don't think I'm going to go in and cover the entire nail, but I will just put a few here and there and just leave some of the pink showing as well. I know usually I do do like a full coverage nail, but... 
I don't think I want a full coverage heart nail for this one. Now that I'm happy with how this came out, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the lamp to cure and then I'll come back and just do a very thin layer to encapsulate the glitters before I finish off this nail. So now that I've gone ahead and encapsulated the glitters, I will be going in and curing this again. So now that this is um, cured, before I do go in and just slightly debulk, I don't really need to do too much since it was really, really thin. I am going to remove the inhibition layer um, that comes when you're using a hard gel. So just like a matte top coat, you're just going to remove that sticky layer. The only difference is this time it's not going to turn up matte, it's just going to show a bit dull compared to how it just looked. So now that I've gone ahead and removed the inhibition, I'm just going to lightly go in, go in and remove um, just any bulkiness I see, just so the nail doesn't look too thick. So now that I've gone ahead and did a little bit of debulking, I'm just going to go in and quickly buff the nail to remove any of the lines that may have appeared from me filing. And this will also help to smooth it out. So now I'll just be going in and removing any little dust particles before I apply any top coat or anything like that. For the stamping design, I will be going in and I will be using this plate. I actually used this plate in my prior video, which I'll have linked in the cards for you. So this is my You Are Beautiful number 15 stamping plate. I just love the images on this plate. And I really want to use this image on the silver nail. For the stamping polish, I will be going in and I will be using this one by BBP, Bad Bitch Polish. Yes, that's the name of the polish. Unfortunately, the lady that used to make these uh, polishes don't make them anymore. So this was like an indie brand and this one works as a regular polish and a stamping polish. I believe I have a review on this brand as well so I'll link that for you too. So the name of this polish is a very good and it just goes with the pink and silver theme that I was working with so I'll be using this to stamp. I love how this transferred. I was worried about how it would look over the silver, but I think it's gonna come out okay, guys. I just have to put on some top coat and see how it looks. So now that I'm happy with the three nails that I designed, which was the middle, sorry, the ring, middle, and index fingers, I am gonna go in and apply some of my magic gel tackless hyper shine top coat to these last three nails. Guys, look how pretty this looks over the silver. So it actually worked out how I wanted it to, so I am 
super pleased because I could not leave this mat. I mean, look at how sparkly this nail is. Okay, I really love this one too with the top coat. I think this turned out so cool. And here we have it for this fun heart pink and silver nail design. Honestly guys, I love how this turned out. It was so easy to do, so much fun. And honestly, I love that the pink and silver ended up working really nicely together. So let me know what your thoughts are. Is this a, something that you would wear? Is this a design that you could see yourself wearing? I swear you guys are going to get sick and tired of me using these art inks. I love them so much. Like, I just love what you can come up with. And funny enough, I actually ordered collection number two. So keep an eye out for when I do that review as well. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Do make sure to give this video a thumbs up and please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I do post more content. Let me know down in the comment section below which one is your favorite, what your thoughts are. Obviously you guys know I love this marble design and I love how the encapsulated glitters turned out. I love the whole thing, like I just love everything but if I had to pick a favorite definitely, definitely these two. I will make sure to have everything linked down below for what I use in this video and until next time, stay glamorous.